Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. It's time for us to get started with Quest Mania. That's what we're going to call these next few episodes, however long they take. I'm expecting two to three, probably. In fact, no. Um, once we get into Rani's quest line, it's probably going to be kind of long. Those will be named after the zones we end up going to. But this next little part then, we're going to be progressing loads of quest lines. First up then from the uh, church that we left off at in the previous episode. Oh my god, we're off to a, such a great start. Look, oh man, leave me alone. We don't even want to fight you. Leave me alone. We're just going over this. Oh, we're going to have to fight it. Clear it all, aren't I? Otherwise, we're going to get attacked by too much stuff. Ideally, we want to get through here fast, but it's just not happening now. But we just want to grab the subterranean shunning ground, Grace, just to make things a little quicker on myself. We're not going to clear the full zone. Uh, excuse me. I know you're there. Oh, they're, all, they're also Albanorix. Oh, they got like corrupted or turned into something today. Let's deal with you. There we are. Gonna want to heal here. Gonna want to unequip those now that we've had a refresh. Last episode was looking dicey. So once we're up the ladder, you kind of have a couple of ways you can get to this um, courtyard we're going to go to. I like using the rooftops because then we can see where everything is. So we're just going to come over this way. I don't think it lets us aggro, uh, aggro. It lets us lock onto very much. So we're going to just try to take this out with this. Just because that makes my life a little bit easier. And it's up to you if you want to stand and fight. I think that's an upgrade stone. I can't remember exactly what it drops us. But there are a good five or six of these bag-headed, bitey enemies. And as you can see, it's not exactly being very forthcoming with allowing me to lock on. Let's see if we can firebomb this one. Just because I can see it and that'll make me happy. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, he's laughing at me. Excuse me, sir. Can you just walk into the way of my firebomb? Oh, yeah. Framing these is kind of fun. Um, there are lo there are quite a lot of them, so just be... Just be wary. Should be clear, though. Grab that. Oh, it's not even that. It's just, not it's just nothing, basically. Here we go. Into the well. And we're off. Where is it? Yes, there we go. So now under the Lando capital, I guess this area isn't all that obvious, really, is it? And there are quite a few areas in this place that aren't all that obvious. You will come to see. Either way, uh, should be a few rats, I think. We need to be careful of. Um, there'll be one piece of loot that we can't get until the end of the game. Which is the Crimson Medallion Plus Two. It's going to drive some people nuts, I'm sure. Drove me nuts for a very long time. This way, I think it's this way. Note that this initial area, which doesn't have like amazing bits of loot in it, but this part all gets filled in when the uh, capital gets filled with ash. So that will actually become the way in later on, just so you're aware. And that's when you'll be able to get to that. Big guy down there can do a lot of damage. I don't know how good we are for beating these right now. Maybe we're okay. There are a few of them and they're, they're kind of optional to fit. Yeah, look how much we have to do to it. This area is kind of not the ideal time for us. But luckily, luckily, we don't actually have to fight any. We're okay. We're going to have to run past two of them over there, though. And the minions are at this point. We might as well grab uh, the key from Dungy to now, otherwise it's going to be a bit of a waste of time, so... 
we're going to want to go back to round table hold. Make sure you have seed bed cutters if you are just joining us. We've already grabbed two in the capital, obviously, so that should not be an option. Uh, option, a problem. So we're going to come over this way. I haven't checked on Nefeli loot recently either. We need to see whether or not she moves on. But we'll, we'll, we'll check on her once um, we've given the potion to this dude. That's basically how that's going to go. That should work. Nah, that's not right. Exactly. There's the key. That's that. So next up then, we want to go back to where we just came from. Which when you look at the map then, it's going to be this one. Nope, this one. Not that one. Where is it? Underground roads out there it is. I was wrong several times in a row. <laughs> I'm sorry. But there we are. So we're down here. Um, do whatever you want to do. We're just going to run them out this way. Um, we're not going to fight any of this. We're going to go straight past it all. We're not going to loot anything. Um, I'm literally just here to speak. Well, release Dungita basically. We're going to let him out of his cage. For now. Um, just around this corner, one of the big flowery things is going to try to poison you. Just straight past it. This one's going to try and poison you. This last one usually tries to cast its weird beam thing. So you want to hang around here so that you can come over this way. And then that way its beams won't hit you whilst you're going up the ladder. You're going to want fire pots at this point. Because we have hands to deal with. Now the little ones, as usual. Excuse me. Take your medicine. There we go. Little ones are not an issue, okay? But that big one over there is a little different to usual because it will naturally aggro rather than just waiting there for us to, uh, to set it off. So, because I hate them so much, I'm going to be uh, prepared. There we go. No protection for you. You're going down. Now, I believe it doesn't respawn, so once you've dealt with it all, you should be fine. So I'm going to let this guy out. Look at this lovely dude. <laughs> Leave your jail. Now then. We need to go and see Mr. Bogart. I hope you weren't growing to like the guy, because it's about to beat his end. Uh, closest grace then is probably this one. So, setting out from the grace, I'm obviously already mounted up. I just didn't want to kind of wait around saying stuff at the grace. Just going to head on out. I believe the giants respawn, so we are going to have to be a, bit, a little bit evasive as we go down the way. So, I just want to be on the side. I guess it looks like it's just... An, oh, it might just be the melee one. Interesting. Thought they all respond. No mind. In any case, we're coming down to this little pool here. Now, last time that crab didn't spawn, did it? I'm sure there's a crab that can spawn down here that causes death. And we need to be really careful about that when um, Dungy to invades because he's a freaking pain in the ass. But anyway, we're going to speak to speak to this dude. He's going to be all happy. So, we need him to say, there we go. So that means he's coming now. So now what we need to do is leave and reload the area. So quit the game. Yes, quit the game. When you come back in, he's had a really good time. See, big curse. And in comes the invasion. Copy physic. Drink your favourite flavour. He's quite tanky, so just be aware of that. Not tanky enough for me, though. Hello, big crab. So aggro's with him. That's why I couldn't get it to come out. I thought it was just part of the... Uh, environment. Be careful of that because it will give you death. 
Oh, good. So now back to Roundtable Hold, where we're going to speak to Mr. Dung Eater. Almost forgot to start recording again, but you know where we are in the Roundtable Hold, we're just going to come down this way. And he'll be all impressed that we fought him off. So now he's decided that he has to eat the sh heat the uh, eat the stuff, and he'll be all tied up, much like Bogart was, back in his cell. So now we're going to go back to underground route type. This is where things get interesting for us, anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm coming out of it. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to get on the horse. That's <laughs> of habit. How silly. I seriously need to do way more damage than I'm doing right now, though. Down we go. Maybe I need to get, like, a, uh, a staff that increases glintstone. There is a glint There is a glintstone staff as well. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what... Uh, oh, I told everyone that was coming and got hit anyway. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, do that there, that's perfect. Up the ladder. <clears throat> and yeah, no more hands look real good. There he is, tied up. So, as I said, this is where you can make your decision as to whether or not you want this guy as a summon. Or if you want his ending, okay. Um, realistically, if you want to try, if you wanted to try like both, it's probably not the worst time to make like a a save state. Especially if there's a lot that you could do from here still, and save this. But we're going to be having Celebus die rather soon, so um, we need all that to be over and done with before we do Ranny's quest. So when we talk to this guy, you can either feed him. Seedbed Cursors, and I think it's eight. There are nine in the game, but I believe you'll need eight for his ending, and he'll give you a rune you can use at the end of the game. That's just going to give you a different cinematic. Or, you can give him Celebus' Potion, which should basically progress loads of people's quests. I want him to die. He should be dead. Is he dead? Just give it a couple of seconds. And then we're going to Do that. So we get his armor set this way as well. Although I think we get it anyway if you feed him all the seedbed curses. But now it is time for us to go and see Celebus. We fed the potion to somebody. So, Mr. Celebus, I want my reward. So we'll go from Rani's Rise. And so before we go upstairs, because remember we have the Finger Slayer Blade in hand right now. So if we go up there and give her that, that is uh, going to prevent us from doing some of the stuff we're about to do here. This probably was not the best direction to come from, but I don't care. We're fine. We're going to run out past the dragon. And we're going to go and see Celebus. Celebus, 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 Celebus. Sell to sell to Celebus. Going to be all happy. Let me off the horse. There we go. Ah, well done, very well. There we go. Knowledge, I doubt if you and this is going to give us... Hey, excuse me. Well. So, Where's... Oh, no, 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 no. We need to do the next bit. That's why. Well, the task was laid out to own. Well, now's as good a time. There's a glintstone she owes me. Die. I'll write you a letter of it. Yes, that's good. So this would take you to sell them. We're fine about that. We need to actually buy all this. Almost forgot. It should come up now. Okay, okay, let's reset this. It should give us another mission, which won't take us very long. I almost forgot that I even left it, the bit that's in um, Altus for his next mission. Where is it? Or oh, has he already told us to go there? I don't think he has. Let's go and grab it, see what he does. 
so from the Altus Highway Grace, all we need to do, see this, um, I think it's this one, yeah, this outcropping here, we're just going to kind of follow it around. I can't remember if it's the lower or the high bit, it must be the high bit, it's this high bit. Um, and in here, what was the low bit? <laughs> in here is the item we need though. So you want to come in here. Because this is what he's going to send you for anyways. I can't remember what it's called. There it is. Amber Starlight. But I, I don't think he's sent us for it yet. That's really weird. Why is he not sent us for it yet? He usually does. Um, I guess in addition to that though, let's go and do some speaking to NPCs. I think we already got the next mission from Selen. So we could go and do that now. From Selly, I should say. Selen, Selia, Selly. Selen. No, Selen. Selen. Her name's Selen. So we should do that before talking to Jaren, because we have Jaren to speak to to reset this, so we still actually need to do the castle. Let's go see if we can progress in Nefeli's quest, just because I haven't done this precisely before. So we're going to go speak to Nefeli now, who's just down below. We can get Corin moving as well because we'll be, he'll be moving into Altus pretty shortly. She's not there. It's she below. I can't remember if it's a Sombring or a normal Ancient Dragonstone. Which gives us a stone that she max out a weapon, so it is worth getting her to progress. Good. Okay, I guess you're still not moving on. Well, how annoying are you? Mr. Hyde is still there. We could go speak to you, but no. Uh, let's go ahead and do... I thought her quest would move on after we've d done the Celevis quest. Maybe we'll talk to Gideon, because I know he triggers some of her questline stuff. Let's talk to him about Nefeli. Maybe that's been the, uh, the hold-up. No, nope, well, I was wrong about that. Okay. Well, there's everything done there that we need to do. Uh, that leaves us with... Oh, dealing with Selen's quest. Because we already got the key, didn't we? Glintstone Jail Key or something. Where is it? Should be... Yeah, seal break, yeah. Can release master to do something. Yeah, so we already have that quest. 80 minutes. Okay, so let's make our way over there. So Celia Hideaway is north of the Church of Plague, which is where we're going to go next. So it begins around 80 minutes. It's probably a bit long for me to do the whole dungeon. Um, but we just head north. Now the in the indicator, if we were to click this, now let's grab this. These are basically going to be a currency when we progress. Oh, that's what we haven't done. We didn't go and spy on his puppets, did we? That's why. Okay, let's do that. We've got enough time for that. So we will uncover this just so that I've got it. Mm, oh, no, no, no. We'll, we'll do it after this now. I'm sorry. I know this is really disorganized. So we're going to get rid of this guy. And then we're going to do this dungeon now that we're here. And then we'll go and finish off Mr. Celibus. That's why we didn't go to his secret room. In any case, behind this, I want to go like perfectly at the wall. Here we have a little entrance. I guess that's supposed to be like a guard for this guy. But there we are, Celia Hideaway, we are in. Give me the grace. Where's the grace? I think the grace was this far in. Maybe it is. I know there's some secret bits. Let me in. Where's the grace? I've gone straight past it somehow. So I'm foolish. 
This will pretty much be our last bit in Kayla as well, which is nice. There's no way there's no grace in here. How, is there no, how am I not seeing a grace? Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> cool. Don't miss the grace. Don't be silly like me. We'll take a rest. We'll reset it. And in the next episode, then we'll deal with Silly Hideaway. And then we'll... Um, Finish off Celevis's quest now that I remember what it is that I need to do. So, uh, yeah. Oh, there is actually technically one dungeon here left. But, uh, I don't think that counts, really. Either way, we'll finish this one here, and we'll uh, catch up again soon.